in this lesson, we're going to take a single log and expand it into a sum or difference of logs. So before we do that, let's just review some basic properties. As you mentioned before, log of a to the n is equivalent to n log a. And log a times b, you can expand it as log a plus log b. And log a divided by b is going to be log a minus log b. Now, because a is on the top, it's going to have a positive sign next to it. b is on the bottom, so it has a negative sign next to it. So consider this problem. Log x, y divided by z. Go ahead and expand the expression. x and y are both on top. So it's going to be positive log x plus log y. z is on the bottom, so it's going to be minus log z. Try this one. Log a squared, b to the third, c to the fourth, d to the fifth. Go ahead and expand it. So a and b are both on top, so it's going to be positive log a squared plus log b to the third. c and d are on the bottom, so it's going to have a negative sign in front of it. So it's going to be minus log c to the fourth minus log d to the fifth. Next, we need to move the exponents to the front. And that's the last thing that we need to do. So the final answer is 2 log a plus 3 log b minus 4 log c minus 5 log d. And that's it for this problem. Let's try one more example. Go ahead and expand the log. Let's say if it's the square root of a times b to the 1 fourth divided by the cube root of c to the fifth raised to the third power. Now the first thing that I would do is move the 3 to the front. So this is going to be 3 log and then next we need to get rid of the radicals. We need to write them as an exponential fraction. The square root of a is basically a to the 1 half. The index numbers are 2. And then we have b to the 1 fourth. The cube root of c to the fifth is basically c raised to the 5 over 3. So now we can expand it. So a is on top, and so is b. So it's going to be positive log a to the half plus log b to the 1 fourth. Now c is on the bottom, so it's going to be minus log c to the 5 over 3. Now let's move the exponents to the front. So we're going to have 3 times 1 half log a plus 1 fourth log b minus 5 over 3 log c. Now the last thing that we need to do is distribute the 3. So it's 3 over 2 log a plus 3 over 4 log b minus 5 over 3 times 3. The 3's will cancel. So it's simply minus 5 log c. And so this is the final answer.